so now we have almost all topics uh, clear and uh, uh, let's move out to see how we actually can save our libraries and projects in order to save it we have to go back to the add-on and uh, here you can see copy projects to clipboard and copy libraries to clipboard buttons now in order to actually save our progress we need to open up a folder with our mission currently it have only the mission.sql file and let's add file with our projects let's create txt file and let's name it ct underscore projects and let's change the extension to sqf now let's press enter and yes we would like to change the extension let's open up this file and in notepad plus plus i'm using this one now we can change the encoding from ANSI to UTF-8, which is mandatory. Now, if you feel like you don't know how to change the encoding and you're not sure that uh, you can create this ctproject.sqf yourself, you can also go to the armor and open up your composition tool uh, composition tool uh, add-on and under resources you will find ctfunctions.sqf oh I'm sorry ctprojects.sqf you can simply copy paste it from the resource folder to your mission folder yes I want to replace now this file is ready to go how do we actually uh, save the project now just click copy project to clipboard and then open up the document select everything rather with the cursor or with the control A and paste it with the control V that's all, let's save the file and uh, here you can change the author it should be written here let's, let me show you an example uh, you can change date something like oops now let's change the description and the type we actually don't change so this three lines can be changed and that's all the project is saved now let's save libraries in order to, to save libraries we do exactly the same thing we can create a file called ct underscore libraries.sqf or we can simply copy it from the resource folder let's just copy it now let's click copy libraries to clipboard and let's open this document as you can see currently there are uh, information in here and we just select everything and paste now we have the latest uh, latest libraries saved here you can of course change the author, date and description if you like to now let's save this file and close it up now if we if we happen to exit uh, the add an editor and open up it again let's load up the mission we used to work on now as you can see there are nothing here no objects only those objects that was saved to SQM as well as units and waypoints and basically all the stuff you saved in the you made in the add an editor and now let's load up composition tool as you can see there were no message 
error because we actually now have both files here and we have all the compositions all the objects exactly the same way as it was before saving so we can actually go to advanced tab and we will see our project or projects if there were multiply of those and everything nice and cool we can go in and continue our work now there's uh, one more small thing that I would like to show you and uh, on the basic tab of the composition tool you can see this flag and uh, let's try and click it once now as you can see at the center of the screen we have logic and uh, this logic required in the mission in order to actually start or uh, start uh, the project and the place uh, all the objects uh, to load up needed functions and basically do the technical stuff and this is just a game logic with the text in it this will be executed once on the the mission start and uh, currently uh, this uh, footage was recorded uh, slightly before the add-on uh, actually hit the release and uh, there is a small uh, bug that is not yet fixed but I do believe it will be fixed uh, very soon after the release and uh, the bug is that uh, you actually have to delete uh, two quotation mark in this whole sentence statement and one at the beginning and one at the very end and that's all just let two quotation marks now uh, the mission uh, almost ready to be uh, played and soon we will try it out Okay, and finally, let's actually start and preview our mission. And uh, to do this, we already placed the logic, which will initialize uh, the functions of composition tool and ultimately place all those objects and compositions. We also have our player. We have a certain number of elements, uh, buildings here and there. And we are almost uh, ready to go. Uh, the last thing we need to do is let's open up uh, a mission folder. At the moment, you can see here is the uh, libraries, projects, and the mission SKM file itself. And one last thing we need to add let's go to the Arma 3 and composition tool add on. And in the resource folder, you can see ct underscore functions dot sqf this is the heart of the composition tool it have all functions uh, that is uh, that are needed in order to actually build this stuff uh, and all we need to do is just copy paste it to our mission folder now the final thing uh, when uh, let's imagine that we are done with this mission and uh, everything everything is made and um, uh, as you can see there is a uh, city libraries and this file is relatively big uh, the good thing is that we don't actually need this file to be inside our mission folder in order for the mission to run because everything that we used inside our projects uh, it's actually saved to this project sqf and uh, we can safely remove libraries from the mission itself let's uh, temporarily store this libraries sqf outside of the folder so we don't ha we have nothing here and uh, it will be safe here sometime and uh, finally let's go back to the game and let's export mission to a single player 
just to test it out. Now we can close the add-on. We can play scenarios, open our scenario and restart it again. Now, as you can see, all the buildings is in place. We can see all compositions, loose objects, as well as objects add in uh, add-on, and of course enemies.